Inside of the boxing ring, Mayweather was one of the gutsiest fighters to ever lace up gloves. I'm not here to argue with those who have taken issue with Floyd's choice of opponents, or when he chose to fight them, although I do look forward to reading those conversations in the comments. I am arguing that, inside of the squared circle, Mayweather pulled off some of the bravest tactics and most dangerous techniques in boxing. Mayweather took calculated risks, but the risks he calculated were gigantic. It was the pure grit and iron will shown at the beginning of his fights that allowed him to consistently cruise for the remainder of the bout. And he did it all with pure ice in his veins. So calm and collected that most never even realized he was recklessly abandoning core tenets of boxing. When a defensive-minded boxer gets cornered and hit on the ropes, their main order of business is to escape and stay away from them as much as possible. Mayweather, on the other hand, would put himself right back into the exact same position, walking back to the ropes where he just took damage and inviting his opponent to try again. Mayweather was so obsessed with dominating in every element of the game that when he got caught, he looked for a do-over. This do-or-die mentality is the core philosophy under which Mayweather fought, and this became more and more so the later into his career he got. Rather than shy away from threats and stay away from places where he would be less safe, Floyd wanted to dominate everywhere. This man let his opponents put him in the corner time and time again, because to try and avoid the corner too often would give them a slight edge, or perhaps a glimmer of hope. Floyd conceded nothing, and so his style was all or nothing. Mayweather did the same thing when he got caught with certain punches, inviting the opponent to throw again until he had mapped out the best defense in his mind. If he took a hard shot, he wanted it thrown again so that he could try a different block or another kind of head movement. These insane risks, inviting punches that his opponent had already shown could land, was how Mayweather shut down their offense so early in the fight. Once he did that, he could plan out counters, taking away their best punches. But of course, Floyd would not let his opponents take away one single punch from him. I've covered before how Mayweather was having trouble with Zab Judah's off-angle left-hand counters. And how he got better and better at smothering and stifling those counters. Until he could stop the punch before it even started. But the most impactful shot Mayweather took in that fight was a hard counter hook while throwing a body cross. Body crosses aren't the most common or necessary punch to throw in a match. And against a southpaw, it's even riskier. But either that punch was a core component of Mayweather's game plan, or he was just looking to prove a point. Because he kept throwing that body punch like he got paid extra every time it landed. He got away with this by pinning Judah's lead hand so that he couldn't return a hook. And a few other ways too, but that one is by far the coolest.
I love this moment where Zab tries to copy the technique, and Mayweather uses that to land yet one more body cross. Eventually, Mayweather started using the threat of the punch to set up headshots, and building on the punch itself to set up combinations. What a lot of people don't seem to notice is just how insanely aggressive Mayweather is with his offense. It's probably impossible to find a bout where he doesn't lead with his right multiple times. Often lowering his hands and swinging for the fences. If you're ever looking to take a dive against a professional boxer, then this is maybe the best way to get knocked out immediately. But Floyd believes in his timing so much that it's one of his signature moves. It's the same story with his gazelle hook where he drops his lead hand low before shuffling forward, chin first. Body straights aren't the safest thing either, but they're a big part of Money's style. He'll also bait punches with both hands down. These are not the tactics of a timid boxer. All of this had such a major psychological impact on his opponents. Even a boxer getting dominated can usually point to a few areas where they excelled at the end of the fight. Mayweather took away everything, leaving many feeling frustrated and defeated before the bout was even halfway over. Floyd knew that mental warfare was one of his greatest weapons. He would leave himself open, put himself on the ropes, and invite his competitors to try their best smiling all the while. When it looks like your opponent is rooting for you to hit them and you still can't, that's devastating. He's basically letting him tee off. Floyd knows that Endo is not doing absolutely anything to him. Was Mayweather calculating? Yes. Were some of his bouts frustrating to watch? For me, absolutely. But was Mayweather a coward? A fighter who ran the whole bout without risking anything themselves? Never. Love or hate his style, Mayweather was one of the gutsiest fighters to ever lace up gloves. And he's well worth studying for his tactics, even if you don't want to emulate his techniques or his strategy. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more about Mayweather's techniques, you can check out my books on power, footwork, and defense, linked below. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.